And that leads us to our candidate spotlight tonight. Let's head west to California to the once Golden State. I hope it can come back because I live here. Come June 7th, the primary election will be held, and my next guest, Anthony Tremino, is running as a Republican. God help him, he needs it, and he hopes to be California's next governor. In a state of, woof. Governor Newsom, of course, and I'll say this boldly, because I've been out here in this state from Ohio since the late 90s after I served in the service. Um, guess what? It's in trouble, and it needs major help because this governor, the Democrats in Sacramento, have failed the good people on both sides of the aisle of California. Mr. Tremino now joining us in studio. Anthony, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. The brand new digs here good at morning. One America News. Yeah, uh, looking good. How's it going? I know you have been crisscrossing this state. It's a big one. It is. And you've got a big task because Newsom comes packed and ready to go with cash, with the media in his back pocket, with big heavy hitters in D.C. backing him. This is a tough one for you. Yeah, and we've been working the entire state, 20 hours a day, seven days a week, going up and down, sleeping four hours. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you what the schedule is. And that's how hard you need to work to get the word out. And we're doing that. And we're building the, gra the biggest grassroots movement in the entire state of California. So we're encouraged, we're inspired, and we're super excited about the primary. What do you think, um, when you look at the primaries last night, Last Tuesday, Tuesday before, we've had now four or five big primaries with anywhere from three to five states each Tuesday evening. And the numbers of Republicans turning out versus Democrats in all of these states, and they've been red, purple, and blue states, mm -hmm. is 20, 30, in some cases in some districts, 40% higher mm -hmm. than the Democrats that are turning out for their candidates. What's that tell you about America's direction? Change is coming. That's what it says. And I'm encouraged by the numbers that we're looking at in California as well, because we saw a 10% uptick in Hispanic votes in the recall, which means that we're not just seeing a lot of conservatives and Republicans coming out, but we're seeing a lot of people moving away from the Democrat Party. Independents and MPPs are wanting to vote now for something other than politics. It's about quality of life here in California. And we think we're bringing a message that has little to do with politics and everything to do with our quality of life. By the way, for you non-Californians that are watching the NPP, that's when you have a no-party preference. In Cali, they allow you to do that. Other states are going, what the hell is that? Yeah, exactly. So I need to explain that for our folks <laughs> yeah. in the other 49 states. Um, what's the message you want to send to Californians? Because believe it or not, there's a lot of folks, and I don't care what party, there's a lot of folks in California that watch this program and this network, mm -hmm. even though the left-wing media says otherwise, let me tell you, because I get messages from around this state. So they're out there. What's your message that if they check an Anthony Tremino on election day, what are they going to see? First two or three things you're going to do to try and get California back on track. Well, the grandson of an immigrant who fled communist Cuba, I think we would all agree that our, the American dream is on life support. And I believe we have a unique opportunity this election cycle to revive it. And so some of the things that I'll do first in office or as soon as I get to office, lift the state of emergency and all mandates across the state and immediately go into our schools, advocate for school choice, um, so we can dismantle the teachers unions and and really protect our children right now What's happening in California? And I think everyone in California knows this it has little to do with politics It's good and evil light and darkness the bills that are being passed and, and some of the policies that are being put forth They just seek to divide and destroy and what we need is somebody from the outside Somebody not a politician to come in look at it differently to innovate and to really give people hope again And that's what we're doing that's so what we need, Anthony, as a parent, as a resident for uh, a long time, but coming from a conservative state like Ohio and, and looking at it with, with that mindset. I just can't believe from the day I got here in December of 96 after serving in the Air Force and loving this state to what it's become now mm -hmm. in 2022 and watching Sacramento, led by Democrats, mm -hmm. dismantle this once golden state. I am so pissed off yeah. as a citizen, as a resident, as a patriot, that we have got to get somebody in there that it's going to make drastic change. I hope you're that guy. Thank you. And so you got to understand my, my background is different, right? So I'm not a politician. I'm an entrepreneur. My wife and I were eating hamburger helper without the meat <laughs> because we couldn't afford the ground beef in a small little apartment 20 years ago when I started my company. And I built that company with a lot of hard work, sweat, equity, and a supportive wife into what Inc. Magazine called one of the fastest growing privately held companies in America. And I sit on the Forbes Agency Council. Now, why does that matter? Because California doesn't just need a governor. It needs a CEO. Yes. We're talking about you. the fifth, fifth largest, largest economy on the planet, right? 
Yes. So we need to get rid of our politicians. We need a businessman to we run the fifth We need somebody from the private economy. sector. Absolutely. Like we had a great businessman running the country. <laughs> Still should be running it now. Anthony Cermino, uh, real quick, they're wrapping me up. How do folks learn more about your campaign? If they want to donate, whatever, sure. what's the website? Battleforca.com. That's battleforca.com. Battleforca.com. Appreciate you, Anthony. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, you as yep. well.